Hey there, everybody. It's Ira, and I'm back in Vintage Story. Welcome back to the desert. I have been extremely busy since the previous video. I've done a lot of things. Uh, so I'm going to catch up with you folks real quick, and then we've got a lot to do today. Uh, by the way, I am recording this right after I released the uh, third episode of this series. So I have just now read the comments that were left on episode three, and I will be acting on some of those if you left episodes, uh, comments on episode four. Um, I haven't read them yet because the video isn't out yet, but I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm having fun. I don't want to stop playing. <laughs> Forgive me, my friends. Forgive me. Um, so first of all, working on the base. And I've been making it bigger and taller. I kind of had this idea of making this big, wonky sort of tower going up. With lots of layers. Uh, as you can see, I've built something down there. Let's head down. I haven't put anything up here yet. I've just kind of been slowly building up. Doing random weird stuff. So I've got my rove chests here. I've raided a lot more ruins and collected some more resources. I found tons of different ore and ore vessels. Um... I don't think there's anything in this barrel yet, no. Uh, by the way, let's let's take a peek at the map. I have explored a lot more. Oh goodness, look at this. I've been all over the dang place. Uh, I found a big area of clay. I found an area that I called Fjord, because it has a sort of Fjord-like coastline there. Uh, there's a big village uh, ruin over here. Clothing merchant. Found a whole bunch of merchants. Um, this is the one uh, I just, this morning, read a comment reminding me that these traders here will buy clay. And other stuff like that, so uh, I should probably <laughs> spell hunter where I'm there. Okay, uh, so I think I was with you folks when I came up here, but this stuff over here is new. Uh, I've been kind of going up in a northern and western direction because I keep finding good stuff up there. What's this? So oh, this is tin. Um, one of the comments that was left on episode three was from one of the developers, Tyrone. And he suggested that because I'm using the realistic climate bands, going south will actually mean the temperature increases. Going north means the temperature decreases, which may be why I'm finding so much greenery up here. Maybe I need to go south, or maybe I should have started out by going south, and then it would be more of a challenge. Uh, he also pointed out that I did set my hunger rate to the lowest possible rate, and since I'm doing just fine with food, I should probably increase that. Now, I didn't know that it was possible to increase that, but it turns out it is. Look how many chickens are out there. Sorry, folks. Just look at, all, look at all those chickens. Take a moment to appreciate the chickens, the butterflies. The water kind of splashing up against the coast there. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Uh, so apparently there are commands that will allow you to modify uh, the world config options that you set at the start. And at my request, the developer has added them to the wiki. So actually on the Vintage Story wiki, you can now see the list of all the commands. So you can change all of these things as you like. So it's uh, world config. Player, hunger, speed. Now apparently uh, the lowest is set at 0.25, and he suggested I, I increase it to 0.4, so that seems fair to me. I have more food now, so it'll increase it to 0.4. I believe the default is 1. So this is still a slower hunger speed than in the base normal vanilla style experience. Um, oh god, I found some rusty gears too. Eh, eh, get down. There we go. <laughs> uh, but it's faster than it has been. So let's show you around. I don't think my basement has changed since the last video. Uh, I have started collecting rot. Some of these things have started rotting. Uh, we are in the desert, so rot will happen quickly. So I'm putting the rot in a barrel, and once we have a full stack, we'll seal it, and that will give us compost eventually. And um, that compost will be a much higher fertility soil than we have here. So I found a whole bunch of seeds. We've got spelt growing, we've got carrots, we've got turnips, and we've got onions. So these have all been planted just recently. Um, I feel like crops grow, grow slower in the desert. It may just be the low fertility soil. I don't usually even bother growing on low fertility soil because usually I find at least medium fertility soil right away. Um, so my cabbages are still growing over here. Whoops, I got, I got a few new hairs. Uh, what I had done, see I've got, I got a little hole over here. I had dug a little tunnel to usher all of the hairs that I had into this. <laughs> you don't have to run away from me, little friends. You don't have to run away from me like this. I ushered them all into here. They're, they're never going to stop running away from me. But we've got a whole bunch of hairs in here. we got a whole bunch of baby hairs. So uh, they'll, they'll keep breeding in here as far as I know. So I'll leave them in here to reproduce. And as I need meat, I can just come in, kill some of the adults. Butcher some of the adults. And of course I've got these ones in here. And I even still have the two that are over here from, uh, from my first attempt. There's still two in here. They have not bred. I don't know what the conditions are for hares breeding. Maybe they need to be on grass. Maybe they need more space. I don't know. I don't know. But in any case, um, 
We've got we've got hairs around. How are these doing here? Fresh. Oh, okay, these are fresh. These are proper fresh. A white current here. Um, so there's there's the the current construction site of my my house there. Uh, we do have drifters coming through now. In fact, if I hit time, does it say how many days? Day twelve. We're on day twelve. So we do have drifters coming around. I have mostly copper tools around now. I'm kind of using up the flint ones before I... Oh, and I made a tin bronze pick, so if we find uh, some iron or something like that, I'll be able to mine that. These bauxite stones are completely useless. I've just basically been kind of going up here at night and just chucking them at, uh, <laughs> at drifters just for fun, taking little pot shots at the drifters. Uh, let's get this copper axe ready when I need it. I've got planks. Um, yeah, we're doing well. Doing well. I should probably set up another charcoal batch going. Check my berry bushes here. I stopped picking up the berry bushes because I realized I already have quite a lot of berry bushes. And I have food that's rotting because I don't need it fast enough. And I have all of these hairs and stuff. So like, kind of in pretty good shape as far as that goes. Um, actually, another thing I wanted to do... Grab a knife. I've been using a straw bed. But I can actually, uh, now that I've got the planks, I can make a wood bed, which will... Oh, actually, no, I think I need, I need, uh, flax for that, don't I? One thing I need to do is I need to go back to where I found those plants growing before. There we go. Um, back up. I need to go to where I found those plants growing before, um... I found some flax, I think, off camera, and I think I found some carrots growing with you folks. And I need to go back and check on those. It's been a few days, so so at least the carrots might be full grown, and I need to get them before they kind of uh, flip around. <laughs> flip around? What's the word I'm looking for? Sometimes, my friends, sometimes words are hard. I can't actually make this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think this is worthwhile. Um. Actually, what's, has the recipe for the bed changed? Yeah, it has. Okay, so we need double planks. Wait, did that say? Oh no, just, just one hay bale. Okay, whoops. Planks, planks. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there we go. And we have a nice wooden bed. I can pick up the hay bed. Put down the wooden bed, and we've got the scary music coming on. The, the monsters are coming out, or they will be. Let's let's kind of hang out out here until the drifters come out. We can just say hello. Maybe I'll chuck a couple rocks at the drifters. <laughs> just for funsies. They don't react to it at all. They just kind of go, ooh, and then just keep keep wandering. Um, the drifters are not necessarily a particularly big threat in this world. Um, I think be perhaps because I've set it to passive, they don't attack me unless I get pretty close to them. So they're not totally passive, the way the animals are until you hit them, or they're supposed to be. I have still had, actually, uh, roosters and hyenas, if I get real close to them, will occasionally come up and bite me. So, uh, not in this game world, but in uh, in another one that I was testing in. There's a, there's a drifter. I won't be able to hit him with the rocks from here. Too far away. Huh. Oh, almost, actually. Huh. Yes! Oh, nailed it! Skill shots. Let's take a skill shots at the drifters here. Yeah! <laughs> it gives you a little ding sound when you hit one. Yes! Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to hit them from here. Alright, let's go to bed. This probably won't take us all the way to the morning, but it'll cut out a lot of the, the night time. Um, mainly the reason I don't want to travel at night isn't because of the drifters. It's, it's really just because of the dark. Uh, it's really hard to see where you're going and what you're doing in the darkness. So, that combined with the fact that there's drifters out there now, I just sort of want to skip skip to the morning if I if I can. Of course, it's cloudy, so I can't see where the dang moon is. Tell you what, folks, I'm going to I'm going to wait until oh, the moon, yeah, it's still going to be a little while. So, I'm going to wait until the sun comes up. And then uh my plan is first we'll run up to where those uh, seeds were planted and see if they or those those plants were growing out of the ground, see if they're ready. And, um, and then we'll head south and see, see what's south, because I haven't really gone south. I just kind of got, got stuck in a rut of heading to the north and west. Um, so we'll head south and see if indeed it is more sort of deserty there 
and uh, maybe a little bit more difficult. And maybe if it is, then after after I feel like I'm done here, uh, I'll just sort of pack up some basic tools and just sort of teleport myself to the south and start over and see how we do down there. All right, folks, I'll tell you what, uh, sun's not up yet, although the so sky is getting lighter and it's actually reasonably bright anyway because we have a nearly full moon here now that it's not behind the clouds. It's actually, this is, this is very doable. So I'm gonna go ahead I've made um, an empty chest here. I'm going to actually pick it up. I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, I will walk slower, but because I have set the movement speed uh, in world generation to be pretty high, it's actually still probably even faster than normal walking speed. Um, I do see that there is a drifter right down here. This jerk right here. I'm supposed I can reach him with this, huh? No. Um, yeah, so stop one. First stop is going to be up here. We're going to stop at this, these traders and just see what they're currently buying. Uh, to keep that in mind, and also when their their stock refreshes, because then I think what they buy also changes. Then I'm going to run up to... Oh goodness, it was quite a ways. Up to here, check these carrots. Then down here, check the flax. Then stop back home, and then we'll head south. Hopefully we'll be able to do all this one video, so I'm going to skip... For you folks, I have to walk. But you folks are gonna get a nice easy, nice easy skip, and uh, I'll I'll see you at the traders. There they are. Hello, friends. Good morning. Good morning. I hope they're up. Oh man, I'll feel so bad if I wake them up. Hello. Oh, they're good. they're up. They're up. It's good. <laughs> Hello. I just want to check in uh, and see what you're buying. Yeah. See, they're no longer buying clay. However, new, go new goods in one day. So actually, it doesn't really matter what they're buying and selling right now. Oh, I would really like to have some of these nice pots and stuff. Um, because by the time I get back here, they're gonna, they're gonna have changed it up. So we'll have to stop back here again another time. Now, we need to take a much longer walk. I can remember which key to press. Uh, up here to check on those uh, carrots. Man, this place is further away than I remembered. There we go. By the way, beautiful view. Beautiful view. Oh man, I sure do wish there was a toggle to run. I sure do wish there was a toggle to run, folks. <laughs> it's absolutely killing my wrist holding down the uh, control key. And if anyone out there is thinking, we'll change it to the shift key, uh, that that would not be better. It's uh, the whole having to hold down two buttons at a time thing. It's killing me. All right, here we are. Please, 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 let some of these be full grown. Four, four out of seven. Five, oh. Man, what were they last time? Did they already loop all the way around? Or have they not grown at all? I gotta go back and look at the previous video. But man... Oh, well I have some carrot seeds now at home, so I don't actually need these as desperately. It might... It might be worth just breaking them and hoping that most of them give seeds? Is that... is that crazy? I don't want to have to run back and forth here, man. By the way, at the end of the last video, I, I was I was contemplating whether I should move up here because uh, it is very beautiful, um, and it is, and this lake is, is gorgeous and huge and amazing. Uh, but when I got back to my base, I realized I really like the colors a lot better over there. That that nice deep red. I'm still a little bit miffed <laughs> that we still don't have a way to to build with the. Uh, I am gonna take these now. Oh, we don't have a, a way to build with the red stone. I mean, I- Ow! Oh my goodness, cat attack. Cat attack, friends. Hold on. Whew, okay. Trying to- trying to promise the cat that I will- I will play with him after I finish recording. Um, yes. Where was I? I was saying... Um... That, uh, yeah, this place is beautiful. I do think that where I am is more beautiful, so I'm gonna stay there. However, I like the black stone, I like the basalt. Um, there is a lot more of this a lot closer to home. I don't need to come up here for this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quarry out some of the, the basalt stone and make some bricks and use some cobblestone and make some, some, uh, some of that. And use that as building material because I think that'll be a really nice contrast with the red. I do really, really wish... I'm doing it. Oh! Painful. Yes, okay. Uh, I do really wish... Uh, that I could build with that red stone. It doesn't have any other purpose, and you can't build with it, and it's so painful. Um, but at least I can live surrounded by it for now. 
devs, I know you're watching this. Come on, give us a give us a, a redstone texture, please. Think of how beautiful it would be. Us builders, we don't get a lot from you. <laughs> you, you you put in a lot of the new survival mechanics and stuff, which is great. I'm not complaining about that, but um, I, I can't remember the last time there was there was an update that was like, here, this one is for the builders, the survival builders. There's tons of creative blocks, a lot of which we can't actually make in survival. I still don't understand that. Just because I want to build doesn't mean I want to build in creative mode. I like building in survival mode. And also, if there's any modders out there, I've said this before, and I'll keep saying it until it happens. Um, if anyone feels up to the task of making... It's not hard to mod in, but you have to make a texture for it. And I know that I'm not up to that task. I don't have that particular skill. I may give it a shot at some point anyway. But I know that some of you out there can do a better job than me. And um, I will be very grateful. Anyway, that's, en that's, that's enough of that for now. Um, I need to go check on the flax next, which is... It's the big clay area. It's this clay. Flax is there. Okay, that's not too far. But, oh my goodness, is it a long walk to get up here. I don't really want to have to keep coming back and forth any more often than I need to. So, um, by the way, if any of you voted for moving to the big lake, I am sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. I kind of already made the decision even before that video went out. Um, but, oh, there's a fox down there. Look at it in the distance. Render distance in this game is great. Uh, all right, here I go. I'm off to get the flax. And here we are in the giant tree valley. I am going to make sure to get some oak saplings while I'm here this time. I don't think I have any oak saplings, like a fool. Been past all these big oak trees. Have not collected any saplings. Um, maybe I should have brought my shears with me. Oh, well, I didn't. It's usually not that tough to get oak saplings. Let's just uh, do it manually. Or maybe I'll even just cut down one of the smaller trees. That might get me... That might get me a sapling or two. And here we got our flax. Uh, it has also not grown very much. Again, should I just... See, the thing with the flax is I don't have any other flax seeds. There's only two pieces growing here. This is at six. I don't remember what it was at before. I should have checked. Again, I should have checked. If I can get just one flax seed... Then it'll it'll be okay. Like I will slowly be able to build up enough. But like, if I break these two and neither of them gives me a seed, I'm gonna be very very unhappy. <laughs> I do need flax. I tell you what I do. I'll break this one. I find in my experience, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel like the less grown ones are more likely to give a seed, and the ones that are closer to being full grown are less likely to give a seed. Someone let me know if that's actually true. If that's part of the code, or if that's just uh, me me hallucinating. All right, I'm going to go for it with this one. Please give me a seed. Yes, all right. We got one seed. Should I risk it with the second one? Should I risk it with the second? Giant trees, what do you think? Excuse me, massive tree. Do you think I should risk it? You know what? I'm doing it. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad that I did that. <laughs> Worth it. Okay. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is get some more saplings. Let's see if I can get an oak sapling out of this right here. It's a little one. Because oak apparently isn't necessary for uh, for tanning. Tanning leather. Um, I don't think I even need to bother with maple, honestly. just want to see if I can get one oak sapling or a couple oak saplings. I don't really want to cut down the big oak trees. Really? Really? Not, not a sapling? I don't want to cut down the big ones because sometimes they have beehives in them. And aside from the fact that I would like the beehive... There's also the fact that I don't want to get stung by a bunch of bees if I cut down one of those trees. Uh, there's a sapling. Is it just the one? It's just the one. Uh, let's see, we maybe get one more. Can we get one more? A sort of moderately sized oak tree like this one right here, mayhaps? Mayhaps? Come on. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna take some time because of all those heavy, heavy leaves that make the trunk stronger. I'm still a little bit baffled by the logic behind why the leaves count towards the size of the tree. Um, really? None from all those leaves? I mean, I know the chance is lower if you cut down the tree than if you break the leaves manually, but sheesh. Sheesh, I say. I'd like just one more. I would like just one more, please. Please give me one more sapling. Oak trees, are you killing me? Goodness, thank you. By the way, while we're here, we're awfully close to where I, uh, I've labeled the fjord. It's quite a, quite a ways this way, but you know what? I'll show you guys a pretty area. I'm gonna run. I'm kind of wishing that I hadn't brought this chest with me, actually. 
I haven't really picked up enough stuff. I was kind of going along a route I'd already been down. Which means, uh, the odds of me finding something I really needed to take with me are actually pretty low. <laughs> oh, well. I got some bushes and stuff. Let's jog on over. Hello, chicken. Apparently there's just animals. Woo! Holy crap, did you guys see that? That was awesome. <laughs> that was an epic gaming moment right there. We all marked that down. Um... It's over here. Yeah, apparently there's there's tons of animals on this map, by the way. This whole map is a lot... It's a lot wetter. A lot more lush. And a lot more populated than I had expected it to be. I have been kind of messing around with ideas for another challenge map. Am I going the wrong way? Where do I need to go here? I am kind of. Not really, though. Did I really go this far before? Why did I do that? I'm making a series of bad decisions, I feel, in terms of the time I need to make this video. <laughs> um, I think well, what I might do... I had hoped that I would also be able to go south today. From the main base. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that might be the next video. Just sort of taking, taking some supplies and heading south. And just seeing what we can find down there. Is it really more deserty? Here we go. Getting there. Look at this beautiful area. Ooh, there's a ruin. I don't think I've... I don't think I've cleaned out yet. Oh, there's a whole bunch of ruins here. Clothing merchant. Oh, goodness. It's even further. I guess I have been here. Wow. Well, let's go take a peek. Let's go take a peek at these big ruins. I'm going the wrong way. I should be going home. Look, there's the sun setting already. Got a full day behind us. Munch, munch, munch. Um, the world is so big. Ugh, this music is making me feel like I need to run faster. Go, go, go. Here we go. There's a whole village here. Look at this. I don't know if I cleared out all the loot vessels, actually. Ugh. Goodness. I brought this chest with me, so if there's any loot vessels that have been... Have not been looted yet, I'm gonna have to... We got... What's this? <laughs> Almost broken obsidian shovel. I don't think we need that. And we've got... I don't think we need the flint axe either. Alright, it's fine that we left those there. What we got over here? Nothing good? Here's this sort of long house. It always makes me think of a church, but actually I think I already looted this. I already got the vessels out of here as well. Is there one over here? Man, I really have explored a lot, huh? And I was loading up the save this time, so I've played for nine hours. Plus, nine plus hours. It's absolutely unbelievable. Alright. There's another big open grassy area here. It's not as much of a desert world as I thought it was, my friends. I have been playing around in another world, in a proper desert world. Uh, which is something I hadn't done this time because I wanted it to be possible. To, to do all the things you need to do to be successful in the game. So I wanted it to be possible to find clay. I wanted it to be possible to find animals occasionally. But it seems like there's quite a big divide between possible to find these things and, and they're just everywhere. I, I haven't been able to find sort of a happy medium yet. So um, I've been playing around in a world that is truly just desert in every direction. No animals whatsoever. No hyenas, no hares, nothing. No grass at all anywhere. And here we go. This is the area that I found. That was very pretty. This is a very pretty area. Of course, the sun's going down, so we're not going to be able to appreciate it in the full daylight. This is nice. This game generates really beautiful landscapes. It really does. So, yeah. I know fjord, fjord probably isn't the right, the right word for this kind of area, but that's... That's what entered my mind. Look at all this. It was lovely. It was worth coming here. It was worth coming here. All right. I need to head back home, which is, um, it's pretty far away. So as I jog homeward on this beautiful moonlit night, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about sort of the future of this world, of this game save, and of this challenge. Uh, as I mentioned, I've been testing out some other ideas on, um, on some other worlds. And I've been finding that with hunger set really low, even... Have I rated this one yet? Yeah, I have. Uh, even, um, 
even a total desert world with no animals is survivable. Um, there's a lot of cactus fruit. And you don't need to eat that much if you set the, the hunger really low. Um, the real challenge in that case is finding the materials that you need to do things. So you can get clay and you can get uh, reeds from um, the loot vessels. And you have to do a lot of exploring, spend a lot of time walking around. But it's perfectly possible to do it with enough exploration. It just takes a lot more time, right? So, um, in the next episode, I think it's gonna have to be the next episode, because I've been, I've been talking all of your ears off this time, and I'm running out of time. Uh, we'll head south from the base and see what's down there. See if there really is a bigger desert area. I'll, like, I'll go, I'll go a good, good long ways south. Take a nice long trip, see what we see along the way. And uh, if we find that there there really is just pure desert down there, I may move down there. Like, sort of finish up the base, make it look all nice, and then kind of restart the challenge run in a different part of the map. That's one possibility. Because this is no longer, let's be fair, it's no longer really a challenge run. I have everything I need. Even if I set the hunger to normal at this point, I think I'll probably be fine, to be perfectly honest. I found enough seeds and loot vessels, and there's so many hares, and there's so many chickens around, and they will just keep respawning if I kill them. So really... I'm not in any danger of starvation. In fact, I probably should just just stick the hunger back up to one. Maybe I'll do that uh, as I end this video. Um, so there's not much of a challenge though. This is just a normal game now, in a different sort of game world setting. Hello, drifters. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> it's gonna run past you. Okay, thank you. Um, so I can restart the challenge in another part of the map if we find a more challenging part of the map to go to. Or... I can... Hello, traders again. Actually, have they rolled over? They might have rolled over. Um, or I can start a new map, which is pure desert, and do that different sort of challenge. Uh, new goods in five days. New? Less than one day. Okay, so they haven't rolled over yet. And they have different, different rollover times. I didn't realize that. Uh, so yeah, those are the two options that I'm kind of thinking about. So option one, keep going on this one. Maybe get some of that nice black basalt stone, you know, um, build a real nice house. It'll basically just be a, a normal playthrough of the game at this point. No longer much of a challenge. Uh, option two, well, I mean, we'll be heading south anyway, but once we see what's down there, if we find some more deserty, proper deserty area, maybe move down there and see how it goes. Option three, uh, start up a new world, which is fully pure... Super arid, super hot desert. And, um... And see if we can survive in there with the normal hunger rate. And I may... I also consider tweaking the animal configuration files so that hyenas, for example, will still spawn, even if it's outside their normal range of, of heat and humidity. Because even hyenas can't live in a hyper-arid, hyper-hot desert. Um... Ooh, hello, hair. <laughs> Probably not the hairs, because the hairs are are uh, the hairs are too easy, right? Hairs are very easy to to hunt and kill. Oh, there's home. See it just at the distance there. Almost there. Uh, but yeah, but the hyenas will fight back, right? So if I if I hunt hyenas for food, they'll fight back. And then there's also a source of leather, which there wouldn't otherwise be at all. If I don't have any animals. Problem is, I was fiddling around with that, and it turned out if I set the hyenas able to spawn in a, a true pure desert, um, they spawn everywhere. <laughs> there were so many of them. So I'm, I'm unsure about that. But anyway, there's a lot of options there. Another option that I thought about is, what if, instead of a desert, I tried to survive in a frozen world? That might be even more difficult. Uh, so that's a possibility, too. I can make, like, a, a frozen snow world in an ice age. So, there's a lot to think about. And again, I do want your feedback. And I know I, I keep saying I want your feedback and then <laughs> moving on before I've even released the video asking for your feedback. These are growing good. Good, 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 good. Um, stick these in here as well. I'm not organizing them by, by nutrient yet, because right now it's going to take so long for them to grow at all. There we go. 
Um, so this time, I'm asking for your feedback about what to do going forward. By the way, you guys remember that I had my one, my one <laughs> reeds growing here, my one uh, papyrus? Yeah, I accidentally destroyed the dirt block from underneath when I was doing this. So that's gone. I don't have that anymore. I only ever got two pieces out of it, so... So much for so much for trying to make it easier. Um, it's it's easy enough. Let's be honest. Um, okay, let's come, let's come sit up here. Sit up here, have a chat. So this time, <laughs> little backpack, my chest backpack. Uh, so this time, I'm asking you now. In the next episode, is going to be going south and exploring to the south and seeing what we can find down there. And then hopefully, by the time uh, that is done, and I'm continuing to play after that, I will have your feedback from this episode. I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit, spend more time in other game worlds and playing other games and other things like that, uh, so that I don't race ahead of you all too much, because that's just a little bit unfair. So that's my question to you right now. Uh, of the options that I listed, what do you think? And if you want to wait until you see what's going south, we can do that. Um, but yeah, I want I want, I want your ideas. I want your thoughts. I want your suggestions. And I uh, thank you for your for your time. <laughs> Start turning the UI off. We'll have a personal, personal moment. Can we do this? Oh, I don't look at the camera as a problem. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, folks. I'm sure I've, I've rambled away all the rest of my time here. Uh, but I uh, will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm not feeling well, so you don't get an outro today.